Sanabur Dean. I ran into the water. Come on, you guys. It's lovely. We're on holiday. Come on, let's have a swim. And it was just covered. I never felt cold like it. And you know when you get a fright, or if you're, you know, somebody, you get a fight, a fright behind you, or somebody touches your neck with something at a horror movie, do you make a wee involuntary noise? And you can hear it. You're not aware your body's doing it. You go, what was that? Well, that happened to me in Aberdeen. And I was trying to say to the guys, come on in! It's fabulous! But my voice went, oh no! Ah! It was! Ah! Well, fool! Hey! You're a fuck off. <laughs> I didn't want to go any deeper, you know. Oh Christ. I ran sideways, you know. Standing on stones to get higher up out the fucking stuff. Hey! Fuck off. I went in deeper up to my knees. Oh! Ah! Some bastard passed at a speedboat. Oh no! It's waves. Oh! Ah! I'll never forget that feeling of the waves licking up the inside of my thigh. Oh! And just kissed the underside of my bollocks. Oh! And my voice came back. Fuck! <laughs> Oh, you must try Aberdeen. Jeez. <laughs> it is an extraordinary place. <laughs> Anyhow, you see, people think I'm a nutter. You see, hey, Billy? You see, hey? You're a fucking nutter, you. <laughs> and, I, and I'm not. I'm a normal, sane kind of guy. You know, I just, I just think it's time we took something back. It used to be our world, and they, they, keep, they take a wee bit more every year, those bastards. You know those guys who work in car parks and traffic wardens? Hey, what are you doing there? Fuck off! I hate them. I think they should be fought at every time. I'm telling you, if a policeman comes up, ask them something. See, they're not programmed for questions. <laughs> ask them something. What is it? They've got a wee sergeant in a matchbox. <laughs> but a man's asking me things. <laughs> Get your question in first. I always work, even if you're naked on Woolworth's roof at three in the morning. <laughs> Can I help you? <gasps> right now. And as soon as, as soon as you get a chance, say, incidentally, how's the suit? Comfortable? <laughs> Trousers, nice, good fit, good shoes, good sturdy shoes. Big woolly socks, just a job for this weather. <laughs> hat keeps the rain off, good hat that. Whoa, whoa, why, why? Because I fucking bought it, that's why. It's after sales service, are you enjoying it? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Soldiers too, if you're, if you're demonstrating somewhere and they're guarding it to keep some installation where cows glow in the dark, you know. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off or I'll shoot you! <laughs> IQ the same as the collar size. No, fuck off you! <laughs> Say, okay, I'll go away. Give me the clothes back. Come on. Come on. Okay, I'm not playing anymore. Give me the clothes. Come on. Come on. Socks, underwear, whole thing. You can keep the gun. They don't like it at all. You see, I'm a... I'm just a normal kind of person, except I'm extremely wealthy and famous. Just the same as you. But it's <laughs> and I am a, I'm a father. Three people walk this earth and say, that is my father. Well, they don't actually. People say, is that your father? They go, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Keep your voice down for Christ's sake. You know, what? <laughs> it's just one of those things when you let me, but they... It's the nice people in it, and we never fight. I never hit them. Well, only in self-defence, really. <laughs> and the wee one, and nobody hits her. She's a sort of sausage. And this is what I was going to talk to you about: small people. 
I have a little person at home called Daisy, so a wee tiny person, nearly two years of age. And I was there when she was born. And I was going to talk to you about that. Because some of you in this room, whose partners will produce children? After tonight, at some point. <laughs> Not because of tonight. You know, your wives, girlfriends, whatever, you know, all that stuff. I personally have a live-in lover. I read it in the paper. <laughs> I didn't know until I read it in the newspaper. Who are these people and why do they write such so tripe? But those of you whose partners are going to have children, you will be coaxed and then bullied into attending the event to go and watch the arrival of the aforesaid person on earth in the room watching it happening. <laughs> I was there. I was that soldier. <laughs> Don't go. <laughs> Fight it till the last. Do not give in. It is many things. It's everything they say. It's wonderful. It's a miracle. It's miraculous. It's fantastic. It's unbelievable. It is not a spectator sport. <laughs> Don't go. You are not welcome <laughs> to give you the green suit and the hat and the mask and the Danish clogs. You feel such a wally. <laughs> and it's so disappointing. I was in there for ages. Not one person asked for hot water and towels. <laughs> not one. Now I know a thing or six about childbirth. I've seen a few movies in my life. Hot water and towels, Betsy, and keep it coming. <laughs> not one. I felt so stupid, <laughs> sitting there with my two kettles, <laughs> people laughing. <laughs> it's awful. What were they doing with all that boiling water? They must have known a birth method that we don't know anymore. The boiling water method. Sounds a bit bloody painful to me. I think the idea was to get a bucket of boiling water and say, if it's not here in five minutes, this goes up your kilt, okay. 